Caution. It is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unworn public. Or maybe not. Alright. Welcome, gamer. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. The batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. Off. There cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the Judge, and I am aching to know your name, came lucidly into the Futar. I am the Batter. I have been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Gamer. He can't talk to us. However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Gamer. I believe we are in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everyone loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. What sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide to this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you, in fact, be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I have been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this view. I had, in fact, concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exist other zones, and in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your second mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, is this, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage in the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. Finally, flee, as the name indicates, is the option of the coward. I hot this alternative. But now it is the time for the offense. Choose attack and select the batter. Then choose attack new to off me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back, and I would like that and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Excellent dear sporting companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. 
it is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you would throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, you can, your cast iron would get you a critical hit, which would cause teeth to fly in heaps. Let us move on. If you are willing to, you may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the battle, a new window opened itself at the lower right-hand side of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. Finally, you have yet again the opportunity to flee, but remember, solely the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this luck ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. <laughs> Impeccable! Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend, but there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I am, of course, talking about competencies. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points, or may be in and of themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competencies leads to a consumption of competence points. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. Try it out right away. Choose competence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. The Judge, an odd appearing cryptic cat. HP 300, CP 30. No weakness or resistance. <laughs> you now know not only all about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, if they accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time, the confrontation ends, theoretically, when all the health points of your team, or all of your opponents, fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bad blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. <laughs>